Peace to the family. Let me hit you guys up right now. Let me let you know I am Sure you register at I am brother polite dot app. Okay. I am brother polite dot app. Make sure you register for the free classes, not updates, because as I told you, they giving me problems sharing. They're giving me problems with my audience sharing my material. So I have to go live on Facebook in order for my t material to be shared. If I just publish even a, as much as my a picture with my daughter and you attempt to reshare it, it's going to say it's violating Facebook policy. So I only can have my live videos shared on Facebook. And then for Instagram, I cannot like or communicate with anybody that has a large following. <laughs> I cannot like my own images and my own videos and I can't put titles or captions on my own videos. All I could do is upload them. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with. But I just pulled over. Well, I'm actually at the crib. I just pulled up to the crib. And I don't know how turned up I may be. So I elected to stay in the car before I go in the house. I won't, I won't keep y'all too long tonight. I got some presentations I want to do in the factory that I invested in. That I should be doing a live stream over there tomorrow that produces tissue just to show you how, how this thing really works but I wanted to have a conversation with you so make sure I am brother polite app you go over there you register register for updates to free classes and in preparation to be notified when the app itself goes back up so it's the website go to I am brother polite dot app and that's what it would be but yeah so every media is giving me problems <laughs> So I want to send the people to my platform. Now, these are pages. I want to go to my platform. So that way I'm not limited to connecting with you guys. And I'm not limited to communicating with you guys. Now, you know, I'm not vulgar. I'm not using profane language. I'm not threatening people. But you know how the game goes. So you know how the game goes. So go to brother. I am brother polite dot app that's a website that is the website to the app that will be coming out so you can get all your notifications i want to have free educational games on the app all of that free classes at length greater length so i don't got to keep worrying about this stuff but yeah i'm in i'm in miami at my miami home yeah i'm at i'm at the miami home but like i said to y'all that's just coming in I elected to do this in the car because, you know, people are tired. It's 11.54 over here. And my wife was like, I know you're very passionate. I ain't really messing with the bread. I can tell you that. I'm already, I'm already good money with my clients. But um, I, that coronavirus is going to mess with a lot of other people's bread. You know, my house is already bought and paid for outright. I'm good. I already made smart investments. I'm good. But yeah, I, I live in Beverly Hills, but I got a home in, out here in Miami. I actually took advantage of the real estate market because the point system for mortgage went down from 15.36 down to less than two. And that means you would refinance in real time without the long duration of time it would take for you to access the equity off the property. So I actually forfeited a $50,000 earnings money deposit just like somebody else we was helping out. Well, mine was in around $50,000. I actually forfeited, renegotiated the agreement because in the long run, I would be saving over 130 grand. So I forfeited the 50 grand to save over 130 for a new agreement plus just better perks because the market is working to our advantage right now so the shit is less than three it's, it's a huge advantage right now but anyway here's the conversation here's the conversation i'm getting tired 
of people saying, I need credentials in order to share information. I'm getting tired of that. I ain't gonna mention these people names. It's the same Negroes, always hating. Uh, their motivation, their motivation to say these things, in my opinion, comes more from a standpoint of hating the fact that I get a great deal of attention and appreciation views for sharing this information as opposed to them actually having a genuine concern. Let me ask y'all a question because people always say, what gives me the right? People always saying, what gives me the right to talk on things if I'm not a medical professional? Hmm. Let me ask the question. What gives people a right to have debates about religion because there's people that's credentialed to talk about religion. There's theologians that are credentialed to talk about religion and we don't say nothing to them. We don't say nothing to them. <laughs> Let's think about it again. Pardon me. Oh man, this is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's the Vala. Watch this. This is crazy. I can't get enough of this. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Watch this. Boom. Look at this. I get an upper back massage or a lower back massage. So if you hear the sound, that's my seat massaging me. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. My seat is actually giving me an upper back massage while I sit here. So when I want a, a ride, sometimes I just want to ride in here on purpose just for that. Now, it ain't the Rolls Royce that I got up in Cali, but it'll do. You feel what I'm saying? This damn thing. I got to get a new one. Oh, I'll clean the bottom of this. The suction keeps dropping. So, pardon me. I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. You know, I had, I had to put the light in and everything. I got lights all over here. I had to turn this into a studio. You feel me? Because watch this. I don't even know if y'all if, if are going to be able to see everything. It's the Miami crib. Feel what I'm saying? This is the Miami John. So I don't know if you can see it. But when I teach, I'm too smart to be broke. You play these games. I decided to stay here because it's less turn than it is in Cali. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to be in Cali with all that chaos. So I stay out here. I just pick, and I like the weather right now. The weather out here in Miami is more conducive. And they ain't got all that crazy curfew shit that they be talking about in L.A. So, boom. But you know my, my, my stuff, man. I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much to be poor. You feel me? I don't just talk about it. So why people think, oh, polite is just showing off. Polite is just showing off. Nah, it ain't about showing off. More than it's about actualizing this data. I'm letting people know. I, I talk about certain things and I live it. If I talk to you about food, I live it. You feel what I'm saying? I don't play those kind of games. You hear echoes in the crib. And it's furnishing and everything in there. I'm like this in LA, in Beverly Hills, and I'm like this out here in Miami. I don't play no games. But anyway, let's get let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. <laughs> let's get back to work. I do that. I do that type of stuff, family, just to show people. I ain't got no dirty sheets in the background, constantly gossiping about other people. I'm a fucking grown man, so I don't got time to play those tiny, those type of games. And my family be over here struggling because I'm over here being jealous about another man. So listen, I hear you. They got other teachers out here doing what they do. I hear you. But if they can't demonstrate through their own lifestyle, if they can't take you food shopping with you online and just show you what it is or show you like, look, this, this ain't fake. If, if you're so smart, you should be able to make something of yourself in society if you're really that smart. Facts. 
If you're so smart and you got all this knowledge, you shouldn't be struggling. And you damn sure shouldn't be in the same living situation every year. That's corny. So I don't got time for that. That's why people be really going against what I'm talking about. Because they know they can't turn around with the same pride and show you. Now, you see, people want to tell you. People want to tell you. I'm getting this damn thing together because I, I can't stand this. Hold on. Why would it decide the suction for, not for that to work right now? Okay, I think I got it. Boom. People want to tell you. I'm afraid to touch this shit. Perfect. Am I being greedy? Okay, great. Let me take this heat off. Because, damn, why the, why the heat is on? Please. Please stop heat. Thank goodness. Oh, that's the massage. The seat is heated up for the massage. Let me take that shit off. Yeah. Yeah, so watch this. People want to tell you that... Let me, let me let me see where I want to start this because I got a lot to cover in a short period of time. You feel me? I got a lot to cover in a short period of time. <laughs> yeah, facts. I don't do this to demean people or undermine people and make them feel lesser than themselves. I do this because I come from the hood. I come from Brownsville, from a neighborhood that was ranked number four worst places in the world to be at. So when I come out of that Maya. I want to share with my brothers and sisters. Don't let no one tell you that you can't transcend. Don't let no one tell you you can't come up. That's why I do what I do. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do. That's why I'll show you something. And I'm going to tell you, you can't fake success. That's another thing. And we're going to talk about these credentials. You cannot fake success for so long before you get caught there. You can fake your little astrology, your numerology, and reading people's hands and reading people's feet and telling people who should be in what relationship with each other from one year to the next. But what you're not going to be able to fake is your living situation from one year to the next. You see? People hate and hate and they hate. They tell you, oh, he lived in the hotel. The house so big. He li It's an Airbnb. Y'all see how my Beverly Hills crib look? You see how huge it is. You hear the echo. You see how tall the ceilings, the ceiling is. You see how tall the damn door is and how heavy it is. You can feel how heavy that shit is just looking through the damn camera. You see my card collection throughout the year from one year to the next. But Negroes will say, I'm renting all of those vehicles parked one behind the other. Y'all saw my white car collection. I rented all three of them fucking cars right there. For what? For what? My glory, the glory I truly get is for teaching. It's not for the material things that I have. The glory that I get is for sharing the good word. But people go out their way. Oh, you know what? Okay, it's an Airbnb. So now that the hotels and everything is shut down, what will people say now? It's, it's always something. No, I'm telling you, that's an Airbnb. So I'm renting the same Airbnb throughout the year. This is how miserable people are. And it's that same, I call them miserable lights. Okay? I call them miserable lights. That's what I say. That's what I say. It's a damn shame. It's a shame. But it don't get me flustered more than the educational stuff. More than the educational information. That's what really gets me. Because I done got over it now. I done got over people keep telling me I'm renting my vehicle. I got my vehicles in Miami. I got way more of them. In the West Coast. And that's alright. Because Miami is my second home. It's not like some place that I'm going to be there for a longer duration. If I'm in America, in America, I'd rather be in L.A. But Miami is where I love I love to be in Miami at least two, three months out the year. I can tell you that. When I'm in America, it may not be two, three months straight. This time around, I might be out here for a good month and a half straight. Seeing how this crisis looks. Worried. I built a name for myself teaching truth. That's what this is about. But I'm going to tell you guys something. People's claim to fame is just wash your hands. And if you say anything extra, then wash your hands and cover your mouth. You need credentials. And I'm going to tell you, that's foolishness. People think they can wash their hands, but they don't have to eat different. People say wash your hands and no one's suggesting to you to drink different. They tell you wash your hands, but they don't tell you to drink differently. They tell you wash your hands, but they don't tell you to eat differently. You, you, you walking with me? They don't tell you these things. 
And I think that is insane. I think it's insane. It's nuts. So watch this. There's this thing going around that you got to be credentialed in order to share what to eat during this crisis. Share knowledge on what to drink during this crisis. So you got the whole Negro squad throwing a little subliminal shots. It's the same old folk hating. That's what it, that's what it do. The young boys mad because the viewership the, the, and the older cats mad <laughs> technically because the viewership but more because they want to be heard. And they always think it's some kind of cliche or, or something that's going on for why more people are listening to one person more than the other. Always. So I ask, since I need credentials to share research papers, to share news reports, to share lab reports, I need credentials to share that information? Really? So let me ask a question. These cats stay banging on religion. Don't no one ever ask them. Do they need credentials to bang on religion? Because there's people that's credentials that got degrees in theology. Don't no one ask them if they need credentials to speak on religion. There's cats who always have debates about history and they break down history. You know you have something called historians? They're credentialed. But for some reason, these same people feel like they can read, they can do research, they can give people references and pose arguments based on hist historical documentation. No one tells them you need credentials to speak about history. They use the same concept. I'm going to extract research, accredit people for their research or their findings going to journals, whatever it may take. This paleontologist, this anthropologist, I'm going to make a citation about their work because they're in the field doing the work or they have the laboratory at their disposal. Or this work has been peer reviewed and I'm going to share this with the people. So if people can talk about history and they can talk about religion, just as two examples, why can't people talk about health? I mean, I've only been eating my whole life. After a while, when you keep eating your whole life and you start getting certain types of results that you don't like, some of us wind up taking eating a little more seriously, while others don't. While others don't. This damn heat in the seat. That's just too loud. But I need it real quick, hold on. Real talk. So, right now, many people are just coming to terms with the fact maybe they need to eat different. And you got a group of Negroes who want to go against people like me that's letting you know it's not enough to wash your hands. That's just ridiculous. It's not enough just to cover your mouth. That is ridiculous. How about eating better and drinking better? Because uh, last I checked, viruses like a body that's acidic and filled with mucus. Acidic where it shouldn't be, I should say, because acid is not bad in general. Acid is not bad. But too much acidity take us out of it. Real talk. Real talk. Oh, you're going to eat mucus producing food, and so long as you wash your hands, you think you're safe. You think you're safe because you can still eat your meat, eat your chicken, eat your fish. But because you're washing your hands, you're safe. You think you're going to continue to eat dairy that's going to produce all that mucus and all that gluten. And Negroes would be like, yo, you can't tell nobody what's good for them because you ain't do blood work. Yo fam, if somebody was drinking something that has red number 40, blue number 5, yellow number 6, or high fructose corn syrup, they can do without that universally. I don't need to know shit about you. I don't need to know nothing about your life to tell you you don't need to take in no monopotassium glutamate. I don't need to know 
about your medical history to tell you you don't need monopotassium glutamate. I don't need to know your medical history to tell you you can ill afford during these times to be eating white rice. I don't need a medical degree to tell my people you don't need no milk that's allowed to have 750,000 somatic cells a euphemism for pus, 24,000 live bacteria before the Food and Drug Administration takes it off the shelf, and something that is milk that has sulfur-containing amino acids that throws off the body's pH, and then the body has to buffer calcium off of the bones. Pardon me, the, the body has to leach calcium off of the bones to buffer the acidity from the sulfur containing amino acids that comes from the animal protein per the milk. And in turn, the excess amounts of calcium that's left over is deposited into the liver. Let me say this again. Let me say this again. I don't need a medical degree or any other form of certification to tell my people you don't need to drink animal's milk that's high in sulfur-containing amino acids that compromises the integrity of your body's alkalinity whereby when you take in this, this sulfur-containing amino acids that the animal protein has within the confines of that milk that your body has to leach calcium off its bones to buffer the acidity per the sulfur-containing amino acids and then the excess amounts of calcium is deposited in the liver, which can cause any of a number of chain reactions to compromise your blood sugar levels. Okay? Your insulin resistance, it could initiate that or further inflammate a bad situation that exists. I don't need to know your medical history for that. And I don't need medical credentials for that. Because after I say it, you can now go and look it up and see if it's true. You can look it up and see if it's true after that. What the hell I need medical credentials for to tell my people you shouldn't be drinking milk? So because they say on their food pyramid, we need eggs, milk, and cheese. Knowing that most of our community is either suffering from fibroids or lactose intolerant as they say and the fibroids is created in many instances because of dairy because fibroids are, have their they, they have their inception in a body that has way too much estrogen okay if there's too much estrogen fibroids will grow impose its will on the pelvic space of a woman and she goes through way too much pain and if she's conceiving a child it imposes will and fight for the space of the child five boys is deadly and very horrible but if our people say we need eggs milk and cheese because they said we need eggs milk and cheese and they put that on the food pyramid we should just go along with it because these are the experts that put that information out because you know the credential people are responsible for approving the foods that's in the supermarkets so should we just go with anything just because the supermarket sells it should we go with the water that has fluoride or the water that's being sold that says without fluoride which one do we buy because there's both of them are being sold in the damn supermarket with and without fluoride which one is good for you because the people with credentials confirm that both of them can be sold in the supermarket the people with credentials confirm that they can sell you water in plastic bottles that have bisphenol A which is a synthetic hormone that behaves as though it's estrogen when it goes into your body people with credentials confirm that that's okay you think you eat red meat but they pump red meat with carbon monoxide people with credentials people with credentials have confirmed it's okay to pump the red meat with carbon monoxide to give it its red hue because if people saw meat looking gray or looking brown when it oxidizes 
it wouldn't be appealing because something psychologically would tell you this isn't safe because it's gray or it's brown. So they pump poison in the form of carbon monoxide in the red meat to be more appealing to you. People with credentials said that that should be so. People with credentials have approved that food. People with credentials have approved vaccines that had to be recalled. And what we should do is just go along with what people say, because after all, they're credentialed. People with credentials enslaved your bitch ass. Your ancestors, they enslaved you. For you to be here today saying, just trust them. Just trust them. And don't listen to nobody who gives a damn about you, even if they present facts, I'll be going out my way. My presentations online, I'm not knocking nobody else. But the effort I put into making sure you have a point of reference so you can read up on articles, have, just to have good footing. The effort that I make to put up PowerPoints, hook up my TV, ask my family up. Uh, I know y'all gonna be in the family room attempting to watch the TV, but see if you can watch it in your rooms because I'm gonna be turned up and close the door because I'm gonna go all the way. The support I get from my family, with nine and a half times out of 10, they sitting in the living room watching me talk my talk. I literally moved furnishing around so I could teach certain days out the week off my wall because I wanted to have a better presentation and my house is big enough. So what's this crying about? Yo, please, family, just wash your hands. And yo, don't listen to the people that's not credentialed in the community. Because they, they, don't, they don't know nothing about you to know. Yo, I know enough to know you don't need no red number 40, blue number 5, and yellow number 6. I know enough to know you don't need no milk with no 750,000 somatic cells, a euphemism for pus. I know enough to know you don't deserve that as a people. And for those of our people that don't know, let me impart the wisdom where I see it fit. You shouldn't be questioning if I have a damn credential. If I'm not telling you I already do, I tell you I'm a 10th grade dropout. That's not the question. The question is if what I'm saying is true or false. That's what you should be questioning. But Negroes will turn on their own in this hour to listen to the same damn beast that put us in this situation in the first place. Real talk. Cat's always crying. Yo, so you just gonna listen to what he say? I, another Negro, but they they manipulating the fruit and they not cleaning it right. So I ask him, where should you get the fruit? Man, shut the hell up. So that's what you can offer to the conversation: pessimism and cynicism. That's what you offer. These be the Negroes who mad because you destroying their lives because you you not. Supporting or advocating they eat meat People act like they care About this virus But the same ones telling you Get the credentials, they still eating flesh They won't even let it subside They won't even let the desire subside Just for a, a Two, three month stretch They're mad And it's that it's, it's the germs, microbes, bacteria And the viruses that they're consumed by That makes them go against you Because when you study the gut and you realize the effect that the colony of bad bacteria has on your thinking. They will go against. They will program you and rewire you to go against anyone suggesting to you to eat other than what they like to consume. It's not a game. It's enteroendocrine cells. They exist in the synapse. That is a bridge to say that the gut and the brain is connected to each other by way of the vagus nervous system. It's not a game. I don't microwave this information. I say, Yo, let me let me read a page here and half a page here out of the book. Do PowerPoint. I got it solved. I've been doing this for years. These guys just started disagreeing for the past several months. I've been studying this stuff for years. So it's non cipher There's there's no. There's no conversation to be had with me other than, let me just double check it if I'm a little skeptical. That's it. 
What are you going to debate me about? I actually live like this every single day. When I go food shopping, it's always three to five hundred damn dollars. Minimum. And if I got all five of my wives with me, it's ridiculous. Four, pardon me. If I got all four of my wives with me, it's ridiculous. I'm caught in the other system. Pardon me. Real talk. Go to I am brother polite dot app register for the site so when the app comes out you get the notification for the free classes you get the notification and for the classes that charge you get the notification it's going to be off the chain make sure y'all do that because like i told you it's people that are walking with me on facebook they can't share my videos unless i go live and for the people that walk with me on instagram I cannot like my own videos or like the videos of people that have large followers or communicate with people that have large followers. And I can't title my videos on Instagram. I only could upload videos and that's it. If I put up a picture or a video, I can't write a caption or nothing. So what I'm doing is telling everybody go over to the site. So that way I can get my free knowledge on do what I do, do my PowerPoint presentations. I don't have the 10 minute limit on Instagram and all this other stuff. I don't want to be limited to what I can say because I'm not even out here talking about hurting nobody or nothing. I don't want to be limited in that manner. See, they said I need credentials. First thing I said is you need to take care of your gut. You can look at all my previous videos. Then I show you the new news report saying, oh, hold up, half of the people that suffer or victimized from the coronavirus, they have digestive problems. But you can go before that news report was published, you can go back a week, week and a half, and two weeks, and you're going to hear me say, this is insane. They got you going to war with your own gut with all this antibacterial, triclosin inclusive products and antibiotics. They're going to create more problems with that. That's that's not me making this up. I don't have to be a medical expert. You just have to be aware of something. That's all you have to do. Be aware of knowledge and then be able to calculate. That's why I said you got smarts and you got intelligence. What it means to be smart is to be able to commit something to memory and regurgitate it. That's smart. But intelligence is the ability to give somebody for the first time two plus two. And then from two plus two, they're able to mathematically deduce. Well, two plus two equals four. Then four minus two equals two. And then two times two must equal four. And that must mean two to the second power equals four. Then now what we're doing is saying the output has been diversified several times over than that of the input. If I give you one thing and you're able to give me four or five things from it, I can then render you intelligent. So this is about intelligence and only the intelligent are going to survive family. People just thinking about it now and washing their hands. That's what just... You know, where this money going to come from and wash their hands. Now, suddenly, all the lessons I was given is starting to come to fruition. Because while I was telling people what to study, Barron's newspaper, Kiplinger's newspaper. Yo, I just bought some stocks the other day uh, on Friday before uh, when the market closed. It was actually after the market closed. I didn't get to uh, put my limit purchase in, but it's all good because of the features on my account. I still bought in for america airlines at ten dollars and thirty something cents that a 12 pack of tissue selling people going crazy for it was over twelve dollars and and on top of it america airlines gives you dividends so i got a dividend reinvestment program that i signed up for so i can create income out of the dividends so whether the stock fluctuates or not i'm still getting my dividends i'm still getting paid just for investing in the stock and the stock is so low that the dividends is less than a third yeah the dividends is less than a third that of what the share is so every two payouts is damn near a share So the, they, what they pay you to invest in the company, when you get that twice, it's the amount of the share. So I, I make my dividends get reallocated to the actual same share so I could buy back in fractionally. 
And once that happens two times, it's damn near I get a share each time. So I can make one share, make me three, and that'd be responsible for nine. Two times over. And that's my money working for me. Because when they sell, you buy. And when they buy, you sell. Right now, so many people selling. There's opportunities out here that we ain't never been witness to. Opportunities out here we never been witness to. I'm not telling y'all what you should eat. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Mm -hmm. You can buy one share. Ain't no limit. If you ain't hiring no broker, you do your own thing. You get a brokerage account. I'm going to be doing a free class on it. Possibly tomorrow, if not the day after. It's only because I'm going to be in the tissue factory. I should be in the tissue factory tomorrow. That I put money in. Just to show you, in this day and time, I was doing this. While everybody was hating and told, oh, he's on, he said money's his religion. He prayed to money. I said, yo, if Judaism's your religion, you don't pray to Judaism. If Islam is your religion, you don't pray to Islam. There's a Godhead of the religion. I said, the black woman is my God and money's my religion. That means I'm here to serve the black woman by providing for her and creating a more than conducive environment for her to thrive as a woman or and or as a mother. Or a wife. Don't worry. If you don't understand stocks, I'm going to give you a quick one-on-one. Uh, tomorrow, it would be around... If I do it tomorrow, it's going to be around 1 in the afternoon. And... <laughs> yeah, if I do it tomorrow, it's going to be around 1 in the afternoon. Because I got to be at the factory around 2.30, 3 o'clock. It's going to be for free. It's going to be for free. Yeah, definitely deal with crypto. Eastern time. It's going to be Eastern time. Yeah, they're running for toilet paper. Hand sanitizers. Just buy some lemons and wash your damn hands with the lemons. At least the lemons won't kill the good bacteria in entirety. Stop this BS. Stop this BS with some of this shit. No, you give somebody something economical. No, we need the hand sanitizer. And if I talk to you about it and ask you to drop the science on why that's more important than that of, or why it's more effective than that of the lemon that I'm talking about. They ain't an answer. The only answer is they told me on the internet. They told me on TV. That's what we should do. So why should I listen to you? You do know because the reporter reports the news, it doesn't necessarily mean they understand what they're conveying to the people. You do know that, right? It doesn't mean that they are credentialed or went through several years of schooling to even understand what they're telling you, the general public. You do know that. You do know if people work at the bank, it doesn't mean that they understand mortgages unless they're the mortgage specialist. You do know that. Just because someone works at the bank and they're a bank teller or the security at the bank doesn't mean they understand banking. Many people in the bank don't understand banking. There's a lot of people who work in the bank that's still low income, right? Almost everybody that's a bank teller is low income because they pay you low income wages. So most times the income corresponds with the lack of knowledge because the more knowledge you get, the higher the income generally and so if you can't tell the difference, you don't realize when you're getting quality knowledge because you got brothers, mostly brothers out here, they do what you call teaching or can, may consider teaching. But now when we're in this day and time, whose teachings really are to no avail and whose teachings really put you in a better position, would have put you in a better position or still can put you in a better position? See, those are the questions. You could talk about beating up this white man in the fall of America. You could read these verses out the Bible that's telling you, oh, a virus is going to happen. A pandemic is going to happen. You see, it says it right here that there's nothing for your livelihood. You could celebrate the fact that people are dying and say that God prophesies this and, is, and has everything to do with it. <laughs> but after all of that, how does that feed your children? Are you happy 
that you're able to reference that people was going to die in the Bible? Well, guess what? When the next pandemic come, the Bible was here during the Spanish flu. And I'm sure people opened up the Bible during the Spanish flu and said, look, look it. People are dying. The Bible talked about it. And I'm sure during the Hong Kong flu and I'm sure during the swine flu and I'm sure during this flu. Which I've seen it already with the Bible verses. So every time there's a flu, look, the Bible said this was going to happen. Get over it. Where do you stand? Because, because surviving this is nothing. It's going to be the post aftermath, not aftermath, the post aftermath. You got to hear what I'm saying. You got the opportunity to come out of this mode uh, and you could come out of this in a mass wealth. The wealthy, a lot of them will be poor. And the poor will only get poor. But somewhere in there, there's a small percentage of us. That's doing this because only the thinkers are going to survive. See them Instagram models that wear the form fitting clothes and look back so a piece of their boobs can show, but you could definitely see their whole ass. They losing their mind. They still think they selling dresses and shit. No one could go out and go anywhere. So who you selling the dresses to? Who you selling the lingerie to? No, of course, some people losing their mind. They might just do it to play pretend, but ultimately. People losing their mind out here. It hasn't registered yet. I'm like, you still posting that type of shit? You need to come up with some character. And hopefully you were saving money when those tricks was putting the bread out there. This ain't to knock those sisters. This is to say y'all need to come to terms with what was going on. Them fashion overdresses is a dub. Them flat tummy tees. Don't nobody give a damn about that right now. Don't no one give a damn about that. They're thinking about how they're going to be able to stretch this money out. And you don't want to be on the edge and make it to the finish line. Okay, the virus is over. Boom, things are right back to normal. Yes. But I'm broke as shit and I ain't got a job. Who's hiring? Because this shit is going to be depressed. What people need to hire you for It's going to take time for the market to pick back up And for the demand, supply and demand to go Where it need to go For us to have that, for us to have that stimulus again So you got to think about the post Aftermath You got to be able to look at the situation Like you you can't be thinking You're going to be tough or for, for what, two months You got to think about being tough For a year and a half Hopefully Not longer than that this year is done with. I hope you guys understand. This year is done with. You better find out what to do with some coins so you can fuck around and become rich damn near overnight when this shit gets back to normal in a year, year and a half's time. Because all that shit, all them shares that's only $8 and $12 right now, hmm. When the time comes, it's going to be a boom. And those people that was pacing themselves... When they find a little $8 here, a little $12 here, and you pace yourself, you'll be doing good. Because when them shits go back up 10 times the amount of money, 30 times the amount of money, 4 times, 5 times the amount of money, you're going to say, shit, I wasn't prepared for the damn virus, and I wasn't prepared for the aftermath, and I wasn't prepared for the post-aftermath. You see? So these people with the, yo, credential, I don't need to be credentialed in finance either. I made my bread. There's plenty of people I know credentialed in finance, got their real estate license and all that. How come I own more properties than them? How come I got more rental properties than them? I got rental properties right in South Beach right now. Condos that I rent out. I rent out condos. Out the Mondrian. Hotel. Right there. But I'm not a one-trick pony. I'm an original man. Real talk. Super prepared. If I had to liquidate any of my assets, I could to keep this shit thriving. Because the real estate point system went from 15.36 down to less than three. I could refinance from a new property I just bought and pull out the equity and, and, and stay alive in this motherfucker. Have three figures at my disposal, near, near three figures at my disposal, and, and stay alive. If it was necessary, 
And it wouldn't take me the six month duration and all that other weird shit because the point system is down. And it's advantageous for us, the buyer, finally. So when I wrote that book, Pennies Off of Millionaires and Houses Are the New Credit Cards, this is the time to reflect on that information. And when I was on Facebook and I taught and I taught about the political polarization of global uncertainty, and I told you that we was long overdue, a fluctuation in the market, so hold off on buying homes. Hold off on buying homes. Wait to 2020. Because every seven years, we see these eddies and flows in the market. But we, we were past due two years. So the time has come. When you know the behavior of the market and you study the history, you don't need credentials. You need common sense. If someone points in the direction and look at a chart and you don't know shit about anything. But what you can do is denote a pattern. You can clearly see a pattern. Now someone just got to help you with the nuances to realize what is the pattern about. You attach the narrative to the pattern and then I would be able to ask you. So based on this, what does this tell you? We're overdue another fluctuation, another recession of some sort. So what does that tell you? Buy lightly, unless you really have a strong conviction about that investment. You don't need no securities right now. Just wait. Because we're long overdue. Hold tight. Just wait. You feel what I'm saying? But while I was having these classes and courses with my brothers and sisters to prepare you while I do these credit courses, while I do the credit restoration microwave, yeah, oh, it's three thousand dollars, my brother, but I'm giving you access. To six figures or a little less <laughs> Or a little more I'm making sure you can get access to two credit cards For 50 grand, 100 bands Personal loan or business loan Compound that to the 100 bands Or maybe you get two credit cards 120, 130 grand Now you got 50 grand at your disposal And you got access to a personal loan or a business loan So I create that situation for you And what? What happens? When you in this time Even in this time I create that situation for you. You could ride the wave like this. Well, shit, I got six figures at my disposal. If I got to swipe to save my goddamn life or my children, I'm a swipe. And when I told people about the political polarization of global uncertainty, and I said, listen, I'm shifting everybody over. All of my servicing is going to be a, it's going to revolve around credit, electric money and insurance and real estate. Those are the most lucrative means of accessing large amounts of money. And when it comes to taxes, those are the two most powerful venues you can use to not be burdened by taxes in the same capacity. And that is insurance and that is real estate. Facts. But as far as accessing money, insurance, real estate, credit go hand in hand. Facts. And while I was teaching these things, I'm a Harvard brother and this young brother telling you the truth, 100% truth, I know. Thanks, Wasret. Yeah. I mean, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com, you leave your full name and your phone number. You should know the email by now. But real talk. But register for the app for the free classes. While I was talking that talk, oh, he only about money. Oh, fooling his money will soon be departed. Oh, for the love of all money is the root to evil. Oh, yeah. you see all that, all that goofy shit? All that goofy shit people was on? Looking to undermine me? Listen, the, the information I get for free can take you from here to there and back with a peace of mind safely. But the Goofies had nothing to offer you. And now look, I'm looking for the Goofies. You know the Goofies going to get caught in the mire of this now. Because you can't fake success. And now that our lives are being turned upside down, the Goofies won't even be able to pay their internet bill to gossip and slander about other men soon. Real talk. Real talk. What they going to talk about now? 
Because now they got to really figure this out because they got children. They got to they gotta be adults now. All those games with YouTube and the assets, YouTube happened to start taking away people's ability to make money. It was like all timed out, man. It was all timed out. And now you're getting hit all one shot. This is real. And then you got to deal with people who have to deal with the embarrassment. Not to, to the public. They're going to keep up that, that facade. The embarrassment to their families. Professing to be this, this leader and playing games with their family's time by gossiping online. When they should have been building an economy for their family. Building an economy for their family. You're going to see people freak out. You're going to see people turn on other people as they have no choice but to blame somebody for their inequity or their shortcomings. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Right ass light in the neighbor's house. <laughs> I'm too smart to be broke. Robin Hood is cool, but I love fidelity. Especially since they don't charge you to trade no more. Because when you get charged to trade, you might as well start up with five hundred dollars. But when you ain't getting charged to trade, you know, when you yo, when you just dealing with the ETFs and everything like that, and it ain't cost you nothing, then fidelity is late. Cause fidelity has a lot of education tools right there. And by educational tools, I mean you can modify the what your intel is. You can say, you know, um, these are the different categories I'm interested in learning. Not even learning, keeping up with current events. So you can modify it for what kind of news and reports you. Because the current events is what's giving you the information that you might need to buy or sell. So they're not over there influencing your thought process. You could say these are the things I'm interested in. And at least these feeds are popping up on your phone. Because if you're taking matters into your own hands. And you're not really hiring a broker to babysit your shit. Which you probably wouldn't want to do on a small level anyway. And on some bigger levels. Depending on how intense you are. You know, but I'll tell you this. People be on their phone. Going through Instagram. You need to look at the uh, amount of time. That you spend on Instagram. The analytics is there. The data analytics is there. It lets you know how much time you spend on Instagram. You know, you should see all these social media platforms give you the opportunity to see how much time you consume. Just just weaving through. And I always say, man, if somebody's not educating me about something, I don't want to look at it. Don't send the shit to me. Don't send it to me. I got to prioritize. I got to compartmentalize what I read and what I study throughout the day because every day we're getting closer to a reality that even if we attempted to prepare for the experience will still contradict the preparation so I'll be around three people one on Facebook one on YouTube one on Instagram I'm on NASDAQ I'm on the New York Stock Exchange I'm looking up a ticket symbol I'm like, okay, I'm over there quite often because I'm a master of my own destiny and I got to pay attention to what the market is doing because there might be an opportunity right there. <laughs> yeah, And people may say, yo, but stocks ain't safe and this, that, and third. <laughs> and then ask them, did you create an income out of dividends? You know, there's companies out there that pay you a percentage of their earnings just for investing in their company. Did you learn anything about that? Or you just want to roll the dice? Or you in the gambling phase of the situation? Then I ask. I buy a New York hat like this. It's $40. Maybe even more with tax and where I buy it from. The second I bought it, before I sweat it in this hat, I knew I was never getting my $40 back. I didn't cringe at that fact. I bought the hat with pride and bought several others before it and after it. <laughs> what does that mean? If I, if there's shares for Royal Caribbean at about $22, uh, Fashion Nova, 
which looked like they was picking up some momentum. They like they had a low of 89 cents or something like that. It was like 89 cents last Friday for closing, I believe. 89 or they went as low as 89 cents a share. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. And I'm not saying buy it, buy it, fashion over shares. I, it's, it's interesting, you know. Um, Apple's been down, and if you study Apple, it's it's dope. But you also want to understand the turning over of CEOs, because when new CEOs come in, is it something that it, it's the CEO that comes in? Is he from the community or outside the community? Because it, it can make people in the marketplace grow insecure about the leadership. And then you don't want people thinking they're going to get fired because new leadership is coming in. So you want to know if you're on that cycle of a company because you want to look at the health of the company. So it's different factors to do your due diligence to, to, type, to determine how you want to approach your investing. Things that I'm concerned with, at least. I mean, shit, I ain't credentialed. I could only tell you as much as I know. And and if it's more than you know, then you are of huge benefit. I'm of huge benefit to you. You take that and you add on to it. That's it. But I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just telling you things I know. It's I am brother polite. Dot app. When the shit goes down, you know, so when people be like, yo, but you're going to lose money in the stock. First of all, it's getting so, so damn low. You, you can only go up eventually. I don't mind. And here's another thing that we got to consider, people. Here's another thing we really got to consider. Like I said, if you buy unnecessary coffee, if you don't have the application of fasting, there's times you bought meals you didn't have to buy. You went to strip clubs, threw money you damn sure didn't have to throw. You bought fit caps, you bought extra packs of teas. Yeah, we throw away money all the time. But then when it's time to invest, y'all, I don't want to lose that $10. What if I don't get it back? Your hat costs $40. You ain't need that damn hat. You don't need a hat. Most of the times in your life, you don't need a fucking hat. It's a luxury. So if you're spending forty dollars on a damn fit cap, or some hundred or something dollars for your for your bag or tiny purse, and you still need another bag or your man to hold everything else because this bag is just really for style. It was so damn tiny you can't even fit a wallet in it. See, these are the things we spend money on. We don't feel no way about it. <laughs> you wait. You waited in those lines to buy those sneakers when Apple stock is over here at two hundred and change now. It's no longer in the three hundreds. Oh man, but you listen. Do you believe people are gonna get back on planes? No one's flying right now, that's why the stock's low. You get a ticket from California to Philadelphia for sixteen dollars. <laughs> the ticket is almost the same price as the shares. The only thing the shares is less. So i if the world doesn't end Will people fly again if the world doesn't end? If the world doesn't end, will people fly again? If the world doesn't end, will people use Uber again? Because they're canceling Uber out. So I'm going to wait a little bit and I'm going to throw bread in Uber. Possibly. Because it's tricky. Because tech, <laughs> tech is tricky. Tech is not consistent. Tech, technology is always in a race amongst itself and with each other. Hey, and you know, I'm not credentialed to, to give financial advice. I'm not. But I got enough common sense to share information from previous experience with my people and research. Shit, Warren Buffett, during economic times harder than this one so far, he was one of few that put his money somewhere he needed Coca-Cola. He was one of few 
that was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to put $7.50 a share in this company. And that eventually made them 100000 when they came out of that foot air. And that 100000 was the impetus for him to get a billion dollars. Because when the economy was so damn depressed, he bought in. He bought them $7.50 shares with the little money he got. Earned him $100,000, which at that time would probably be the equivalent. Of shit, probably half a mil or more in all round, and and that money he was able to leverage into making his first billion dollars. Seven dollars and fifty cents a share created that for him. Real talk. And <laughs> this guy, uh, Venice, Forbidden Love, Lemon, is talking that talk. Don't have them getting you scared. They want to scare poor people from investing because they want to make sure poor people don't amass any wealth after all of this. They want to keep you where you at and worse. And they want to eliminate you and, and create a cast out of you. <laughs> There's not going to be room for poor people after this. The lower class already disappeared. By the time this is over, you'll be in hell. Can't get no lower than that. You're going to be under the earth and buried. Don't be, don't be the ones over here buying so much damn tissue and disinfectants. And you're emotionally shopping and you panic shopping. That... You overlook a great opportunity that we never have. We always miss out on these opportunities. We missed out on Bitcoin two, three times over already. When the damn thing was $35. When the damn thing was $75. And the shit went up to $15,000 each year. And he, yo, we missed that. You should be spending this time since you can't go nowhere. Becoming a damn guru. I know as much as I know. Because I disciplined myself and I had the support of my wife to not leave my house for six months. So long as I read. That was the agreement I had with her. When I came out, I, I was making soap, lotion, deodorant, hair grease, body spray. I got my own bookstore, filled it up with all my own products. I started writing books, filled my bookstore up with my books and all my other products. Then wound up having two bookstores, three stores, four stores, then a restaurant. Because I just went in the cave. I got in the zone. I don't give a damn if you don't know what your next dollar is. That's not stopping you from studying. Study. Because something's you're going to have a eureka feeling. It's mental calisthenics. So long as you keep your brain stimulated, whatever it is that you need to get done, it's going to come to you. But you got to exercise that machine up there. It's the only machine on the planet that you got to exercise. Every other machine, you go on it to exercise. This is the machine you got to actually exercise. Fuck around and be crippled by this by this economy, man. You need to be studying right now. Studying like you never studied before because you got more free time than you ever had before. And when, when any kind of money come down the pipeline to keep you in your house, you need to find a way to invest some of that. Live harder. Live, learn how to live below your means. Buy food that's high in inulin. The insoluble fiber. That tells your body you're not hungry. So you go longer periods without the anxiety of thinking you need to eat. So you can allocate those funds into more investments. You got to go into a damn zone, people. You got to go into a zone. I don't want to see my people out here on these streets and no one, no one told them better. Because you can't use the rhetoric that these other guys have been giving you all these years. All that shit is trash now. That rhetoric that those guys have been giving you all those years on YouTube... It's equal to the women that's wearing form-fitting clothes and showing their ass. What you gonna do with that? Ain't no damn strip club open for you to prostitute yourself. If you choose to go beyond the art of just dancing sexy. 
And ain't no strip club open just to dance sexy. And ain't nobody buying the damn clothes and the tees that you talking about. Because they, they mind is on something else. You got to find a way out of this shit. You got to figure this out. You got to figure this out. So the rhetoric boys that's on YouTube, they the equivalent of the Insta models and shit. They both gave you nothing of substance. It's good to look at and felt good to listen to it. It, it appealed to your lower emotions. You turned it on. It was feel good info. But now real time has struck. Be in that real ever now. What you gonna do now? See? You got time to recoup from the time they took away from your life, teach you that BS. And now the only thing people could tell you, yo, he's not credential. Yo, fam, I'm just wanna make sure. If you yo, first of all, if you find if you really paying attention, there's no room for hospitals. What happens? Black people always get the short end of the damn stick when we need health care. We saw what they did in Katrina. We see what Red Cross be doing overlooking us. When we needed help in Katrina, these white cats was getting away with bodying us. When the emergency relief funds came down the pipeline, many of us were the last one to be served or we ain't get served at all. So miss me with the, yo, just wash your hands and everything. And then if you get sick, you go to the hospital. Yo, the hospital's not taking more people. So what that mean? We better start teaching our people about holistic mathematics. Because we in that time right now. Because if you sitting here thinking they got a hospital bed just waiting for you. So they can give you that bullshit cookies and the fake ass grapes. With the high fructose corn syrup. Maybe a ginger cookie. And some orange juice. All that trash. The fake eggs. Hospitality. Hospital. That's a dub. You ain't getting no remote and no TV. The damn nurses don't want to even go in there and serve you. Because they don't want to get sick. If you don't come there on a damn stretcher. They don't want you in the hospital. They don't send your ass back home. You go and you attempt to go to a hospital right now. It's only going to get worse. If you're in New York City, if you're in California, if you're in the major cities, forget it. They're running out of space. They're running out of space. And it has scared so many people. A whole bunch of people who all they know is just go to the hospital. It's trying to go to the hospital, taking up the space for people who really sick. Because this is still flu season, people. And thousands of people die from flu season all the time, people. I think people forgot the flu still exists. The flu, the flu ain't go away because Corona is here. <laughs> Yo, it's still flu season. And, and if you get the flu, you got an extra amount of pressure on your spirit because your heart is going to be heavy because you're going to be wondering if you got the damn virus that's going to take you out so why wouldn't we encourage each other by sharing home remedies from the least expensive to the most available things that we could take for our survival because everybody's not going to be able to go to the hospital. And I don't think you want to be in a place where most people are sick or breathing and stressed. I don't think you really want to be over there. So why wouldn't we share information to empower you in the first place? So what happens when the hospital ain't got no damn room for you? Do you now recollect? I, yo, I should have started drinking and eating better. I should have been doing whatever I could have possibly did of my own free will and accord instead of continue to bullshit and wash my hands so much that I'm creating a disorder. I'm creating a disease from washing my hands so much with this damn disinfectant. Wash your hands, cover your mouth. I haven't seen one damn thing on TV tell people stop eating meat, 
Stop drinking milk. Stop eating eggs. Stop eating cheese. I haven't seen one. But somebody going to tell me I need some damn credentials. You think they care about you? They won't even mention what you should eat or what you shouldn't. You think they care about you? All they tell you is cover your mouth and wash your hands. What are we, preschool kids here? You're telling a grown community. You're telling a mass population of adults to just cover their mouths and wash their hands? This shit is going to be the zombie apocalypse, yo. You keep fooling around with these damn people. They still in the YouTube era where they are jealous of people and they just want to go against what other people say. It ain't registered to them that all that shit is trash. And they need to stop bullshit and listen to people that know. Because they only started disagreeing with this health information as of a few months ago. I've been studying this information and living it for years. So ain't, ain't nobody going to be just learning how. How to disagree. First of all, you got to learn how to disagree. And what to disagree with. You can't just random. Yo, you see, we was right about the vaccines. Look at that. Yo, hold on. There is no vaccine. What are you talking about? Before you can be right about a vaccine, one has to exist to aid in the process. And if one even comes out to help us, it's still going to be a whole year before they can enforce it on everybody on a massive scale. So people got the wrong idea. They're ignorant amongst us. Think, just sit here until the cure comes. And hopefully I'll survive. I'm going to eat and drink as much as the same. No, people staying in their houses and going to eat a whole bunch of high fructose corn syrup. Processed food. Refined sugar. And not exercise and be stuck in their house. They're going to riot. Guns are being bought at an alarming rate. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Real talk. Guns are being bought at an alarming rate. People will not be exercising. Their blood sugar levels are going to be spiked. And that shit is crack. And they're going to come down off of that emotion. Come to terms with their poverty and how it's going to be worse. And the stores that's open Let's pray for the people that open and close those stores Because if you think people gonna sit there High off of that high fructose corn syrup That red number 40 blue number 5 Yellow number 6 High off that white rice Spiking their gly glycemic index You think they just gonna sit there and meditate You can't even be focused with no red number 40 They're going to have all sorts of ADD and ADHD symptoms They're going to be all over the place They're going to be back and forth like a possessed motherfucker Waiting And all sorts of negative ideas are coming in Because they don't got the positive bacteria working on their behalf They're feeding the negative colony of bacteria They're breeding them So all these Economy size ramen noodle soups High in sodium All these high C drinks <laughs> And then no exercise And we are gonna stay in the house And just consume All these damn sugars And processed food And high in estrogen We just gonna consume all these things You think it's not going to have an impact on people's minds and emotions. Shit's going to be crazy. And the only things people think of, they buy guns during the time of a virus, but they won't buy no herbs. They buy guns in the time of a virus, but they won't buy something better to eat. They buy guns in the time of a virus, but they won't even buy alkaline water. People will buy guns before they restore their health. And you don't think that this is about to go down. When people buy guns before they buy alkaline water? It may sound like a joke to y'all. But it's real.
we playing pretend here. We still on YouTube attempting to undermine each other. You still on YouTube attempting to undermine your brother that actually knows what he's talking about. That game is done, family. We may never see your ass online again. And may even not be able to keep up with you until those of us come out of it a year and a half, two years from now. You say, whatever happened. We, we come back out and start looking on the media. Where do these people go? Somehow people think their YouTube personality is just going to exist perpetual. And they're just going to keep uploading videos. No, life will have you distracted. Life will have you distracted if you don't stop playing these childish games. This is not the time for us to be banging on each other and undermining each other. It's not that time. It's irresponsible and it's ridiculous. Those games need to stop. This is the time we get together as a people. This is the time we need to create our own emergency relief fund. Because we'll need it. Because when the money get handed out, people talk about, yo, Trump is talking about giving out $1,000. You, Let me talk to you as a grown adult. That I don't have no credentials. But you do know that the money that's going to be given out is the people that pay taxes. There's a whole community of poor people that do live in homes that don't pay taxes. They're not getting that money. They won't meet that criteria. And small business loans. Yeah, there's going to be a trillion dollars that they're going to release to give everybody small business loans. And your business won't meet the criteria if you got a criminal record. They go out their way to imprison us for moments like this. They go out their way to imprison us for moments like this. So tax-wise... Our people will not be in the equation when money is issued. Small business loans, we're going to find ourselves not meeting the criteria to get those loans. We've seen this in Katrina. We've seen it with Red Cross. We see how our people get the butt of the joke. And people are out here buying guns before they buy alkaline water. It's real talk, family. This is not the time to undermine each other. This is not the time to belittle each other. This is not the time to troll each other. We need to start thinking months ahead and then a year in front. Post-aftermath is what I call it. The aftermath after the math. First, you got to do the math. Then you got to do the aftermath. How much money can you make stretch you? Because I'm going to tell you the other stress. When you find out money's being given away and you still playing internet games, doing memes, talking about we love Trump, blah, 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 we love. And then you find out you're not part of the equation. You don't meet the criteria to get it. And then, well, at least I get a small business loan. I got an EIN number. And then you find out you don't meet the criteria to get that money either. But people are buying guns. But they won't buy alkaline water. You feel what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm telling you? I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to give you reality. You need to start coming to terms with where this is about to go. Because when it goes there, then nobody got a bigger gun than the people who enforce the laws. It could quickly turn wild, wild west if some people lose their mind out here. And how will you be pre prepared? How will you be prepared? How will you be prepared? So you mark my words. This ain't, this ain't no game. This ain't no YouTube game no more. All that is trash. All of that beefing with each other and banging and arguing and calling each other names and exposing this one and exposing. All of us is exposed right now. Because all of us ain't prepared for this. As a community, 
We all exposed right now. There ain't a better exposed video that can be done than this one. So anybody banging on another brother or sister in this hour. Anyone promoting dissension in this hour. is treasonous behavior. We can ill afford to get any type of distractions that separate us from each other. We, if we be separated, let it be by force. But don't let it be voluntarily. Learn how to fast, people. Learn how to fast two days out the week. Make sure you get avocados. And you get walnuts. I'm going to do a session on it. I don't need no goddamn credentials. The people with the credentials put you in this damn situation. Okay? Make sure you buy the foods that diminish your appetite. Make sure you get rid of that plague to make you feel like you have to eat. Exercise discipline, allocate funds, invest where you can, buy shares gradually. This is the mindset you got to be in. Continuously study like you're doing push-ups, but only for the brain. Study as much as you can on health. Use this time. Find out home remedies if you get cut or you get bruised. You're not going to be able to go to the hospital like that. It's not that type of situation. Prepare yourself and your family for emergency accident out your home if need be. Go on YouTube, study self-defense. Just in case. Stock up on certain foods that you can get. For cheap, that's not compromising. Buy as much quinoa as possible. So you got a good source of protein. To preference, black quinoa, if you can't get that, get red. If you can't get red, they got to have a mixed one. Don't just get stuck with the white quinoa. Stock up on as much as sea moss as possible. And if you can, with with sea moss, with bladder racks, and burdock. So you can do your best to get as much as minerals as possible. You'll get more than you normally get any damn way if you, you get that combination. Sea moss, bladder racks, and burdock. And if you're going to mix the sea moss with the bladder racks, make sure the bladder racks is one-third to that of the two-thirds of the sea moss. You don't want to lose a whole bunch of weight out of nowhere. I'm done, man. I'm going to have a better conversation for you, man. I'm in the dang car, man. <laughs> I'm in the car. This shit, this hand, this damn thing here, man. This. Y'all y'all better stop letting these people play games with you. I need a dang massage, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I need. What? Where's that at? I need, I need a massage, man. There we go. Hold on. There we go. I'm going lower back right now. I need a massage. I ain't going to play with you. Okay, good. I'm still learning this damn thing. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Why are you doing that? I want it right there. Oh, okay. It is lower back. I don't know why I'm looking at the seat. I will see you guys later. Let me go in the house to the family. I appreciate y'all so much. We're going to really build. Like I said, I ain't want to turn up in the house. It's so damn late. I ain't want to OD. I'm always OD. I told them I ain't going to do it today. They're watching they films and all that other stuff. I don't, I don't want to blow their high going off. smart to be broke but all y'all that's thinking oh he's just talking about money this and the third yeah to prepare you for these times so that i don't got to focus on money i can focus on other things this is the worst time to be over here focusing on money man this is the worst time 
I'm going to talk to you guys. I got a great deal of love for you guys. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you go to IamBrotherPolite.app. Go to that website and just sign up. Put your email there. It's going to be hooked up. The app is going to be hooked up. I just wanted to put a landing page just to let you know we're back at it. The books will be back out as well. Study as much as you possibly can. That's it, man. I ain't got no negativity to spew on people. Spew to people. Only thing I can suggest to my brothers and sisters, this ain't the hour for us to turn on each other. I don't give a damn what you said about me in the past. You know, we don't have to be. It ain't going to be kumbaya if you was disrespecting my family. But what I'm not going to do is present myself as a distraction to a people who will be put in distress far above and amongst all others. Real talk. To the family, peace to you guys. I don't even know what side of the damn thing. Peace, I don't even know what side of the camera's on. It looks so dark on the, on the phone. There we go, peace. Definitely.